Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our show tonight, the Venice High School Indians back in the state championship game for the first time since 2000. Venice football taking on St. John's Bartram Trail High School for the 7A title. The last Florida High School Athletic Association game to be played in 2017. Up to Orlando we go where the 13-1 Indians are looking to hang another brand banner next to their 2000 state championship team. First quarter senior quarterback Bryce Carpenter running it in from 18 yards out for the game's first touchdown. First drive of the game for Bartram Trail. It's Riley Smith finding the big tight end Robert French over the middle. That's a big game and the Bears would settle for a field goal on the drive. Second quarter Indian running back Brandon Gregory able to burst through the line. He gets Venice back in the red zone. It sets up a 28 yard field goal attempt for Zach Sessa and Sessa drills that one. Continue to increase that lead for Venice. Five minutes in the half. Bryce Carpenter calling his own number, scoring yet again, this time from two yards out, and the Indians hanging on to win the Class 7A state championship. Carpenter responsible for all four of Venice's touchdowns in that game today. And Dwayne Lindo made that trip up to Camping World Stadium this afternoon. He now joins us live from Orlando. And Dwayne, this one got interesting there towards the end, but Venice able to hang on and win their second state title uh, in program history. Well, Adam, that's right. It's a little chilly out here at Camping World Stadium at the Citrus Bowl, but you know what? Venice fans didn't care. All they wanted to do was see their Venice Indians win. So, you know, basically, you know, they came out, you know, throughout the season, only had one loss against IMG Blue, went throughout the whole, reg whole regular season with that one loss, went to the postseason. All they had was... Uh, trying to get uh, everything all situated and just to get this W. Um, beat I, beat uh, basically St. Thomas Aquinas and also came to Orlando to handle business. So as you mentioned, Adam, Venice wasted no time in the first quarter. First drive, Carpenter calls his own number with an 18-yard touchdown drive. Indians up 7-0. Carpenter, as you mentioned, went on to have a record night with four touchdowns. Venice's kicker, Sasa, kicked two field goals throughout the game, one for 48 yards. And keep in mind, Bartram Trail didn't give up. In the fourth quarter, they almost uh, came back. They cut the lead down to 13 points and tried to come back, but it was just too much for Bartram Trail. Venice uh, pretty much sealed the deal. And for the most part, it was a great game for Venice, a great season for Venice. The coach was happy and the players were happy. We always have we always have, you know, aspirations of winning it every year, no matter who, what kids they are. But, um, you know, these are special kids. You know, they, they, they got it done. You know, they were over, overcome, you know, being down against uh, Braden River, being down against St. Thomas Aquinas and coming here and getting refocused and, and winning this game. So, you know, I, I feel good about all of our kids all, every year, but they're the ones that got it done. I mean, just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I'm just at a loss of words for him. It's unbelievable. And I got to tell you, Adam, uh, Venice, uh, the Venice fans, they travel pretty well. I spoke with the athletic director here at Venice High School over at the stadium, and he said that there probably was about maybe 2,000 fans that travel up to Orlando, you know, made the trek up to I-75 through I-4 to uh, see their Indians play. But uh, at some point, they'll be going down and probably going to Disney World first tomorrow. But uh, they'll be going down to Venice, and we can expect – uh, some type of parade or celebration for Venice High School winning the 7A state championship. Adam, back to you. All right, thank you, Dwayne. And yeah, why not stop by Disney? Huh? It's a little cliche, but probably appropriate in this situation. Congratulations, Venice football. Well, due to a small craft advisory and inclement weather, two popular Suncoast boat parades had to be canceled. The Holiday Boat Parade of Lights in Sarasota and the Manatee River Holiday Boat Parade, both scheduled for tonight and canceled. According to organizers of the Sarasota Parade, the Sarasota Parade will not be rescheduled. At this time, it is not immediately clear if the Manatee River Parade will be rescheduled or canceled indefinitely. 
And Dwayne mentioned the cold weather. We saw the inclement weather canceling some of those parades tonight. Let's head over to Steve Newman in for Wendy Ross tonight for a check on that first little weather forecast, Steve. Oh, Adam, I miss those boat parades. We enjoy it every year, but uh, this is why we got a cold front that's moved on past us, and it's going to bring in cooler air over tonight. This is the coldest night so far this season. The cold front is still producing rain out over the Bahamas, but uh, that dry north wind filtering in over us is ending the rain. We had some showers in those cold winds during the afternoon, but they are moving on by. And overnight, future radar shows we'll have strong north winds, and that's going to make it feel cool. The wind chill is going to be something tonight, making it feel in the 30s in many areas, but no rain overnight. And here's your evening planner, our first taste of winter with temperatures dropping off through the 50s through the evening hours, dropping off through the 40s, through the overnight hours. These are predicted low temperatures tonight. Not quite records, but it's going to be 43 in Sarasota, upper 30s in inland areas. Our complete forecast and a look at the week ahead, and there is some warmer weather heading our way coming up in a few minutes. Adam. All right, thank you, Steve. Well, two cold weather shelters are now open on the Sun Coast for those in need as our temperatures are expected to drop. As you mentioned there, Steve, Sarasota County Emergency Management officials announcing that the Salvation Army in North Sarasota and Grace United Methodist Church down in Venice are now accepting those who need shelter. And as it gets colder, use caution heating up your own home. Never use propane or gas heaters indoors and be sure that electric space heaters are free from obstructions and are not located where they can be knocked over by children or pets. We know you're not used to using these so much down here in Florida. And remember, for the latest on our local weather and breaking news, ABC 7 offers up to the minute updates with our news and first alert weather apps. Just go to the App Store and you can download those by searching for WWSB or My Sun Coast. The Sarasota Sheriff's Office has officially moved from downtown Sarasota to a renovated facility near the intersection of Bee Ridge and Cattleman Roads along, it, uh, along the interstate, putting multiple units under one roof. ABC 7's Erica Jackson now joins us live to share how this new building will be helping our community. Erica. Good evening, Adam. You guys were just talking about the inclement weather impacting some events locally. One of those events was the ribbon, ribbon cutting here at the Sarasota County Sheriff's Office, the new building. A lot of people during the ribbon cutting around noon had to stand under this awning to stay clear of the rain, but luckily it cleared up in time. This was formerly housed in 23 buildings throughout the county, but Sheriff Tom Knight says it's slowly consolidating into six rental properties. That means 60% of their workforce will be under one roof, including the crime scene unit, digital forensics, the criminal investigation team, the drug lab, and all administrative sections. Knight says the renovations on the 71,000 square foot building cost about $17 million. He says constructing a building that size from scratch would have cost the county more than $44 million. He also says this location just off I-75 is more accessible to the public. This is a great purchase for the county commission to make to get us out of downtown Sarasota, to put us all under one roof, and more importantly, they probably saved a lot of money by being able to relocate us out here. This building is also the 134th safe place in Sarasota County. Designated safe places provide access and resources to kids and teens in need. Some other safe places around the county. There are fire stations, libraries, and scat buses. Reporting live in Sarasota County, Erica Jackson, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. All right, thank you, Erica. Well, 100 kids got the experience of a lifetime this morning as part of the Sarasota Police Department's annual Shop with a Cop event. Those kids were partnered up with an officer and given a $100 gift card to shop for Christmas. Many of the officers even donating some of their own money on top of their time to make that experience unforgettable. He had a couple DVDs there, and, uh, and, and Mom looked at him and he said, well, Christian, our DVD player is broke. He didn't gripe, he didn't complain, he just said, okay, all right. And um, it, it, I just, it, 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 that's when I knew the boy needed a DVD player. He wants to go home, wants to watch his movies. He, he needed a DVD player, so that's what we did. It's awesome. Awesome to hear this time of year. Well, today's event helps police build positive relationships between kids, their families, and of course, those officers. And those extra gestures certainly help.
Well, a happy ending to a story we told you about on Friday. 24 year old Jonathan Havens is a man living with autism here locally. His mother says he was approached by three people Thursday afternoon who proceeded to damage his beloved wagon, which he uses to assist with yard work around the neighborhood. Well, after sharing his story yesterday afternoon, more than a dozen viewers contacted ABC 7 offering to replace that wagon. Jonathan is nonverbal, but he didn't need words to use. Excuse me, he didn't need to use words to express his gratitude. He was up actually up all night. He was just so excited. More people should be like Jonathan, helping their neighbors and their friends unconditionally. Here's your new wagon. Hey, and I want to say thank you so much for what you do for all your neighbors and your friends. And uh, you're a hero, brother. I really appreciate everybody's, you know, out for it and support. I appreciate it very much, you know, because Jonathan and give you his shirt off his back if he had to. I'm glad I'm happy he's right back where he belongs. Be back in business helping everybody. He's a great person, and I'm glad to bring him into life. The Havens family says they are grateful for the support from the community. Other people have offered to bring Jonathan a wagon. The family wants to collect those wagons and deliver them to other adults with disabilities so they can also work in their neighborhoods. Well, still to come here on ABC 7, the race to put out the flames of several massive wildfires in California is heating up. Why responders are concerned the weather isn't shifting in their favor. Plus, snow here in Florida. That's right, a look at a record snowfall in the south and the northeast. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. <laughs> Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Buy more, save more. Volume discounts on four or more windows. Listen to this important message. If you owe money to the IRS, you will want to hear this. The IRS is cracking down on those who owe back taxes. They send out devastating letters, garnish paychecks, and even put liens on your home or business. You may have heard of it. It's called enforced compliance. Penalties and interest compound daily on your back taxes, putting you under a mountain of debt. Tax 10,000 has years of experience connecting people with tax resolution specialists who will negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. Working through the IRS Fresh Start program, they will handle all the necessary forms and can negotiate a tax settlement with the IRS. It's that simple. And if you qualify, you may end up saving thousands of dollars, finally ending your financial stress. Now is the time for a fresh start. Now is the time to call Tax 10,000. 800-699-3188. That's 800-699-3188. Call now. I just need a second. Is your weight holding you back and affecting your health? Did you see this? Hmm? Your cousin had a heart attack. Really? Excess weight or obesity can be serious, but you can do something about it. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Download the free toolkit to prepare you to speak with a healthcare provider. Your weight does matter. Accept the challenge and take charge today. Visit yourweightmatters.org. Selfless service is the guiding principle of every Army National Guard soldier. They have a stake in the well-being of the neighborhoods where they live and work. To be an Army National Guard soldier is to serve something greater than yourself. Learn more at NationalGuard.com. Upside. 
An update now on the developing situation out in California tonight where six wildfires continue to burn. Firefighters working to control those flames as brutal Santa Ana winds fan the blazes. Overall, the fires have burned more than 175 acres, 75 acres and forced over 200,000 people to evacuate. Governor Jerry Brown of California speaking out today on the government's response to that destruction. Well, so far so good. We have been getting response, but you know, when you look at it, Texas, Florida, uh, Puerto Rico, now California, this is tens and tens of billions of dollars. We were talking uh, last year about infrastructure and uh, you know, all the money we're going to spend on roads and bridges in America. Well, now we just have to clean up the mess uh, that nature is causing. A seven-year-old woman has now been identified as the first victim of the fires. Officials say she was killed in a car crash while evacuating. Well, snow was in Florida. That's right. This morning, <laughs> snow could be seen falling in Pensacola. You can look at some of the video and photos people have been sharing. But while the thought of snow may seem fun for some people here in Florida, Brian Clark uh, from ABC shows us for millions, record amounts of snow, power outages, and flight delays are causing a massive headache. Kids across the South are savoring a rare event, frolicking in the snow. While the children are having fun, some drivers face potential nightmares. Most folks in South Louisiana aren't used to driving on ice. Officials telling drivers to stay off the roads. Treacherous driving conditions in Alabama made worse by downed power lines, forcing traffic to be diverted. So we're just moving around to keep everybody safe. Parts of Alabama got as much as 10 inches of snow, and frigid temperatures led to a freak accident. In Mobile, Alabama, five school workers were injured when the relief valve on frozen propane tanks being thawed in hot water opened up, the escaping gas igniting with nearby stove flames. What we describe as a flash fire, uh, it, it ignites those vapors. Snow now covering much of the south from northern Florida to Virginia. Those wintry conditions wreaking havoc at airports. Close to 800 flights canceled nationwide. The winter snow moving up the eastern seaboard. Downed power lines causing more power outages. Hundreds of thousands now in the dark as far north as Maine. Brian Clark, ABC News, New York. So yeah, snow, not as fun as uh, maybe some people think there. Well, you don't want to have to plow it in Florida. No, you certainly don't. <laughs> All this week, it has been so wonderful. I was out enjoying the sunset at 80 degrees, and now we live in a different world. By the way, Wendy will be back uh, next week. She's filling in for John Scalzi starting on Monday. Take a look at our weather camera. This is from Casey Key. Now look at this. It was a stormy day. You can see why they canceled the boat races, because of the high surf and the strong winds, and those winds are going to make it feel really blustery all evening and probably tomorrow morning too. It'll be feeling more like in the 30s across the area and what a difference a day makes. Look at this. Within 24 hours, we've dropped 24 degrees at Tampa, 25 at Orlando, and across our viewing area, pretty much about 18 to 20 degrees. And those north winds are making it feel very, very cold. And I don't think those winds are going to subside till about sunrise tomorrow. Currently at the airport, 58. Now look at this dew point. 47 degrees. It's probably going to get in the low 40s, maybe the upper 30s tonight, and our humidity 67%. Now, the high was at midnight, 75 at midnight. Then it just dropped all night long, and by sunrise, it was 61. And it's pretty much stayed 61, 62 all day long. Our average 74, 55 for the low. Now, it did rain almost an inch at the airport. My house just north of there, we got a little bit more than that, uh, 83. So we're above normal for December, but we're really dry in December, one of our driest months. Take a look at the radar. That cold front is out over the Bahamas, and that's where the rain, the cold air is coming in contact with that tropical air, producing those showers over the Bahamas. We had a few showers here over the Sun Coast earlier today, but they pretty much dissipated. Now that front's going to go away. The skies are clearing. You can see on this GO satellite image. A few clouds lingering, but you'll see the moon, you'll see the stars tonight. Should be a nice night, but not a night to be out without a jacket. It's going to be cold, so if you need to dig, dig, dig deep into your closet to get that closet out of your jacket out, you're going to need it. Now, the cold front, when it came through last night, it had little impulses along it. So as the front went south over the Sunshine State, those little impulses created bands of heavy rain. You can see one inch, two inches in some spots, over three inches in North Florida. Across our viewing area, we had one strong cell 
pass right over Bayshore Gardens about 1 a.m. Bob Harrigan was on at about that time telling you about a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Manatee County and parts of Sarasota. Fortunately, we didn't have any damage, but it did produce a little rain there up 1.4 inches around Bayshore Gardens, under an inch for the most part across the state. It is cold up north. It was snowing in the pan. Now, that's the pictures you saw was the snow up here, but there is a freeze warning in effect for northern parts of the state tonight and a freeze watch for tomorrow night. So the cold air is lingering for another day or so. All winter long, the winds have been blowing off the Pacific in our direction. That means they've been fairly mild and fairly dry, but now the jet stream is moving way up north into the Arctic and bringing that cold air right down into America's heartland. Another gust in the jet stream is now moving across uh, Mexico where they had so much snow that, that halted traffic. It was really snowing heavily in Mexico, and now that's pushing that storm right up the Atlantic coast. Temperatures across the nation right now, it is 28 in Chicago, 31 in New York City, 33 in Raleigh. I have to say, Los Angeles is shaming us right now, 83 degrees and sunny skies, but they do have the smoke and fire out there, so it's a double-edged sword. Coldest night so far in your weather headlines for tonight, lows in the low 40s, and there is hope for warmer weather, but it will take until Tuesday to get here. And here's the computer forecast model, our future cast showing you that front moving out into the Atlantic. Behind it, high pressure building in, clear skies for the most part, and the winds will subside toward dawn. High pressure moves over us in the next two days, keeping us dry. And I think by Tuesday, we'll be pretty comfortable, close to normal, but then another cold front coming in later on. Here's my forecast tonight over Sarasota Bay. Clearing and very breezy, our low temperature 43 with the north winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, well below normal. And tomorrow with a look at the view, here's our forecast. Mostly sunny and cool, high temperature 61, much cooler than normal. And your seven day outlook shows that we will have a slight warming trend on uh, Monday, but the warmer air comes back to close to normal Tuesday. That front comes through on Wednesday. And then by next weekend, Adam, it looks like we'll be closer to normal. That's your weather. Now, sports. The New York Yankees are reportedly on the verge of a deal with their former captain, the new Marlins CEO, Derek Jeter. That would send Miami slugger John Carlos Stanton to the Bronx. Stanton, who has a no-trade clause on his record $325 million contract with Miami, vetoed two deals on Friday, one with the Cardinals and one with the Giants, but the Associated Rep Press reporting he it does appear willing to go to the Yankees. Part of that rumored deal would send infielder Starlin Castro to Miami. Stanton led the majors in home runs last year with 59. If this trade goes through, he will be joining Aaron Judge in the Yankees outfield, who was second in the bigs with 52 bombs last season. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. You love your couch and want to protect it from spills, food, and scratching, shedding pets. Introducing Couch Coat, the reversible, washable quilted cover that protects your couch. Shield against spills. Wow! Stop stains and dirty pet paws and sharp claws. Plus, it's reversible with two stylish colors. Guaranteed to fit any couch up to 92 inches or your money back. It even has covers to protect armrests. Machine washable, too. My grandkids destroy everything but with coach coat my coach is always protected looking as good as it did the day I bought it get your couch coat for just $19.99 and it's reversible in brown and cream like two couch coats for the price of one order right now and you can double your offer get a second couch coat just pay a separate fee order right now call 1-800-943-0710 to get your couch coat call now or go to couchcoat.com so call 1-800-943-0710 that's 1-800-943-0710 call now Everyone's buzzing about Suncoast View. I like watching the Suncoast View. I like the Suncoast View. The cooking segments, I love the recipes. The theater segments are terrific. Join Stephanie Roberts, Linda Carson, and Bo Beth Yates for hot topics, everyday issues, celebrities, food, fashion, fitness, and everything in between. Nothing is off limits. They're just fun. For smart, fun talk in the afternoon, watch Suncoast View, weekdays at 4 on ABC7. All hands on deck. What's up? I want to point out three tips for using the home computer more safely. Point away. First, stop. Make sure your software is up to date and that you've password protected your computer's login and Wi-Fi connection. Next, think before visiting a site, opening attachments, or clicking on links. Then connect, knowing you're helping make the web safer for you. And for everyone. Make Stop, Think, Connect part of your daily online routine. Whee! <laughs> Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks. 
but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters Challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. Keep up with the Suncoast. Watch your favorite ABC7 shows on your streaming device. This is just oh. a simple... A woman in Mission, Kansas is on a mission to make the world a kinder place. This is Dee this Clark, and she spot. crochets scarves. And then she leaves them just in public places for anyone who needs a little bit of warmth. I don't care if, if they're homeless. I don't care if it's Steve. somebody who has a million dollars. If they're cold and they need a scarf, then they can have one. Clark also gets help from the local community. She says she's had around 400 bundles of yarn donated from others that want to help her continue to help others in that community. And some of you may need a scarf uh, overnight tonight. <laughs> you can need a jacket for sure. <laughs> if you're heading out on the town, take your heaviest coat because it's by Florida standards going to be a cold night. They could they, they yes. don't feel sorry for us up north. I'll Thank tell you, you for that. the asterisk. <laughs> America drug addiction is plaguing our great country. Every minute of every day, one of our citizens is rushed to the emergency room with a drug overdose. Many will never leave, never see the dawn of a new tomorrow in our great nation. Call Make America Sober Again now, before this disease destroys your family, your friends, your country. If you or someone you know is struggling with a drug or alcohol addiction, make the next minute in your life count. Make America Sober Again is committed to connecting you with someone compassionate and caring to help you right now. Call now and be connected to a treatment center in our network. Call Make America Sober Again now. Call 800-793-6592. That's 800-793-6592.